Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Dylan Camera Guy. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the 8518 Zeiss Bottis lens. So let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. I went ahead and ordered this from B&H Photo while it was still out of stock, maybe about three weeks ago or so. And I was looking at trying out that lens for portraits or just in photography in general. I just went ahead and placed the order thinking I would never get the box, or sorry, never get the lens, since everyone was saying the, the wait time was gonna be so long, but after I heard on Sony Alpha rumors that B&H was already shipping them out, I, I figured, oh crap, the lens is already coming in. So here it is. So again, I ordered it from B&H Photo. I was able to get an EDU discount on this uh, particular kit, this lens combo. Packing looks pretty good. And so here we are with the uh, with the Bottis lens. Very different colored box from Zeiss. In particular, this one here. It's a white box, and it just kind of has a really nice shot of the actual um, camera. I mean, the the lens itself. There's even a little sticker here: "Quality Seal Exclusively for USA and Canada, including Carl Zeiss Warranty." So. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. It looks like my box is already damaged from shipping. Shame on you, B&H Photo. So I guess it just slides, sort of just slides out like that. And this is the moment we work for, it says right there. Hopefully you can see it. I think, yeah, we just, we just go ahead and open up from here. There is a nice purple padding that's set up inside of here. Uh, we'll start with the hood here. And there's some weird gash marks on the plastic. I thought there was something wrong with the Bottis lens, but it looks to be fine. The lens hood itself looks to be in pristine condition. Again, I really like the, the packaging setup that they have here for the lens. Go ahead and get the, the size Bottis out. Okay, here we go. Very nice rubber texture. Again, this is more like a first impression with the actual uh, camera I can feel with the lens. Nice rubber feel to it. Very light, by the way. It, it feels very light. Um, it's not heavy at all, in my opinion. Go ahead and take a look at the glass itself right there. It's really nice. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the back side right there. It has that purple accent, purple blue accent on the actual uh, lens itself. So. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and mount it onto mount it onto my A7R2 and also show you what it looks like on the Alpha 6300. Wow, that looks pretty cool. When you turn the camera on, it actually says um, it says Zeiss on here, so. Let me go ahead and try turning that on again. I don't know the top camera here will get it. By the way, I'm filming, um, there you go. I don't know if the camera caught that or not, but the main camera right now is filming is the, um, the main camera is a GH4. The top cam right here is the Canon 80D. If you're wondering what cameras I'm using on there. And let's go ahead and take a look at this lens and its performance. Set it up to focus right off the bat. Feels very quick on this camera. But there you go. The lens overall feels very light. Um, I need to figure out how to activate that little number, uh, the information on here. 
but overall it's a very light lens compared to the overall body let me go ahead and uh, put this on to the Alpha 6300. You can also notice that when I position and hold it like this, the lens actually keeps the body upright. The body doesn't actually tilt over when it's set up like this. But let's go ahead and put on the Alpha 6300 and take a look at that really quick. Okay, so here it is on the A6300. Feels a little bit front heavy, but not terrible. And let's just go ahead and do autofocus is very quick and fast with the Alpha 6300 with this lens. So here it is. Here's how it looks with the Alpha 6300. It is going to be a bit unwieldy and big, but um, very nice. Still a nice combination, I would think. Again, it doesn't feel overwhelmingly heavy. Uh, still a very light kit here. Well, there you have it, folks. I don't know everything. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about any of the products that I'm talking about today, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, if you did like this video, consider giving it a like. I'd really appreciate it, as it'll give me some more visibility in my channel. If you do enjoy the content I am producing, consider subscribing. And if you missed my last videos, you can go ahead and find the link somewhere up here or somewhere along in the video annotation. And with that said, I'm your host, Alan Camera Guy, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.